This is Corcus levis, the turkey oak, one of the common scrub oaks that we find in Sand Hill areas. It is one of our red oaks that has the lobed leaves with bristle tipped lobes. Like many of the other lobed leaved red oaks, the leaves are variable in shape and number of lobes. Uh, but typically three to five lobes is 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 what we tend to see and an interesting pattern that we see not with every leaf but with a lot of the leaves as you can see with this large leaf pointing straight downward is that many of the leaves are oriented so that the lamina or the blade of the leaf is parallel to the sun's rays or perpendicular to the ground as a species that grows in hot dry areas this is considered to be an adaptation to reduce the heat load that we see on the leaves during the hottest part of the day. The common name for turkey oak refers to the shape of many of the leaves. Uh, here you can see a leaf with three main lobes. There's actually a couple of little tiny lobes off, but three main lobes that are give the, the overall shape of the leaf uh, that of a turkey track. The leaf bases on turkey oak tends to be acute that helps to separate it from other red oaks such as Quercus schumardii and Quercus falcata. It's hard to see in this picture, but there's a general velvety, yellowish, orangish pubescence on the underside of the leaf that's often present. The bark is fairly blocky in nature and texture. 